I love the features of the car. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 has everything Chris Walsh needed in a new car. The space, the quick climate control. It's cool fast, hot fast in the winter. And the EV itself is quick. I mean, not that I drive fast, but if I wanted to drive fast, it could go fast. Like zero to 60 in a matter of seconds. That's not why I'm talking to him. I'm talking to Chris because the state tax credit he got for this car went from 5,000 to zero in a matter of seconds too with one letter. Hey, we've adjusted your tax return. A letter with an explanation that didn't make much yeah. sense. They said basically I was rejected because my lease for my car was less than two years. Wait, your lease isn't less than two years? No, my lease is for 36 months. Chris was puzzled because he, like most people shopping for an EV, did a lot of research. So he did some more this time about the rejection. The only thing I could find was a ton of Reddit threads of people that this was happening to. Online, a lot of people are complaining about the state denying their valid EV credits. They're complaining to us too. Barry emailed us after getting his $2,000 credit denied because the Department of Revenue said his car wasn't registered in Colorado. He says he mailed his Colorado registration in with his tax return. It just seemed like there was a problem. So we asked the Department of Revenue if there was a problem. No, they said but they couldn't tell us how many credits they've denied, only saying that they've recently switched to a system that automated approvals for EV credits. Maybe the computer's overly picky? The state says anyone who thinks that they're wrongfully denied should file a protest. I'm glad that it finally went through. It just took a long time. Chris filed his and finally got the money that helped convince him so, to buy his car. They do this really great job of marketing the program, getting people to buy into this idea of, you know, EVs and the back end process is where it all went wrong. So the state says they process more than 11,000 of these credits to date. We just don't know if they've denied or approved them since they say they don't have a system to track that. I'm guessing that Chris and Barry and Kenneth and Jacob, who've emailed us so far, they're not the only ones dealing with this strange rejection from the state. So if you are, Get in touch with me, Steve on your side at 9news.com or our new hotline, 303-871-1700. In the studio, Steve Steger, 9 News.